Hey. Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In today's episode, I'll be answering a viewer question. Reddit user PromDates writes, Hey, is there a way you could export your custom toolbar or go into more detail about what each one is for, does, and some of the scripts you use? I've thought about how to approach this, and I figure the best way to do this would be to break them down into smaller digestible bytes, particularly since most of my viewers don't watch the entire video. Matter of fact, most of my viewers are not even subscribers. If you've not subscribed yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button below. Also, if I break this up into smaller bytes, I can create a playlist full of these tips and help keep the YouTube algorithm. Let's take a look. Reaper is known for its custom ability, customization of our custom. Reaper is known for its ability to customize to suit your workflow. We have a standard toolbar in the upper left corner by default, and even that can be changed to suit your needs. If I right click the toolbar area, you can see that I can open various toolbars. We can have up to 16 customized toolbars, not counting the ones specific for MIDI. If you'd like to know a bit more about how to create your own toolbar icons, click the link above. What I'd like to focus on today is a script by Laka Senna that creates a time selection to the left or right of the current time selection based on the length of the current time selection. That may sound like a lot to swallow, but in essence, if I have five bars selected, I can click a button to select the next or previous five bars. I use this a lot when I'm editing drums. One caveat I found out about this particular script as I was editing the drums for this project is that it does not work if your project contains multiple time signatures. With that in mind, let's take a look back at the project and I'll just focus on the beginning, which is in straight 4-4 time. The main part of the song alternates between 5-4 and 4-4, so it really doesn't make for a good example for this button. Let's take a look at the intro, and I'll select the first measure. If I wanted to edit the guitars, I can focus on that measure, make my edits, and then I can trigger the script, Lacassena move time selection right by time selection length, and it selects the next one measure. If I wanted to go back to the previous measure, I can click my other toolbar option, which is Lacassena move time selection left by time selection length. This works with any time selection that you have, so long as it's all in the same time signature. If I take a look down in my transport, I've got some other options for selection. You can see here that my time selection currently starts at measure 11.1 .1 and ends on 12.1, which gives me a total time selection length of one measure. I can highlight here and change that to two measures instead of trying to redraw at the top. And now you can see we have two measures selected. With that new time value, the script takes the current time selection and does the same thing. So I can move right by two measures, right by two measures again, right by two measures again, or I can move back to the left. If I change my time selection to three measures, the button does the same. It's always based on the current length of time selected. This particular script is not an action that comes with Reaper. This was installed through Repack. If you're not familiar with Repack, click the link above to learn how to install that. To give you a quick overview of Repack, I'll click on Extensions, Repack, and Browse Packages. This gives me a listing of all the scripts and add-ons that I can add based on the repositories that I currently have in Repack. In this case, I know that the script developer is Lacassena, so I'll start by filtering by that name and also add time selection. We can see here that I've installed these two scripts, move time selection left by time selection length and move time selection right by time selection length. To create the toolbar options, I simply right-click the toolbar, go to Customize Toolbar, click Add, and you can add any action that you've currently got installed in Reaper, whether it be a default action or something that you've pulled in through Repack or your own scripts that you've created. Be sure to check that video I mentioned earlier to get more information on customizing your toolbar. I'll show you one more thing that I've got in my toolbar that goes along with this. Let's go back to the beginning of the song and select one measure. Now if I were editing my drums here, it might be a little bit difficult to focus on this being so small. My next button calls the default action Zoom Time Selection. If I click this button, it zooms me in horizontally to fit the time selection. If I zoom back out, and let's extend my time selection to four measures, and click that same button, it zooms me in horizontally to make sure that those four measures are what I can see in the horizontal spread of the arrange view. You'll find that different Reaper users tend to have all sorts of different things in their toolbar that increase their workflow. You can have toolbars docked in different positions, or you can have them floating. It's totally up to you to set up Reaper in the way that you like. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee or the Patreon link below. I like coffee. Custom, customize it, custom, you can customize it, modification.